Hi everyone, Chris, Chris is on scale here. Uh, it's been a while since my last update. I believe the last one I did was uh, back around Easter time uh, or shortly there before. Um, and another thing, it's uh, around the one year anniversary of my channel. So uh, I figure it's uh, about time that I uh, give you an update. I got quite a bit done over the past few months. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get right into it. And, I figured I'd start out over on. here where uh, this was actually in a previous update when I first did the water pour on this. Um, but I figured I'd uh, give you an update here because uh, I went back and put another thin layer of um, um, realistic water over it because I wasn't happy with what way it looked after I uh, put the water effects over it. Um, kind of lost its its sheen and, and glossiness that uh, you would normally see in a, a you know pool of water or something. So uh, I put a thin pour over it. I didn't go over it with the uh, realistic uh, water effects. Um, I, I left it alone. There was plenty of that underneath this thin pour to kind of show through. Uh, you know some effects of uh you know like uh sea foam you know and uh little white caps and stuff like that and uh so i left it alone and didn't do that uh uh, uh water effects over it um another thing over here that i uh added to it was um i added these uh these kids fishing on the rocks i don't know how well you could see them but i put two figures there a couple kids fish on the rocks uh, another thing that I did was uh, I, I rearranged the seagulls a little bit and um, also I started adding some cattails over here to the uh, by the dock area there with the, the little rowboat motorboat so uh, that's what's going on over here uh, I'm somewhat happy with the way it looks and uh, you know we'll see what else we could come up with for ideas to add into this scene uh, but right this now one of the last good. things I worked on uh, I installed this uh, Pensy signal bridge uh, uh, about a week ago maybe maybe a week and a half ago and uh, I, I had it for quite some time it been sitting under the layout and just wasn't sure where I was gonna put it so uh, <clears throat> I finally decided on putting it over here uh, because I, I, I put the extra lights on it, so I got a set of lights in the front and a set of lights back there. Or, and um, I wanted to be able to, uh, when I'm running trains, see both sides of the lights working. And uh, uh, I also put these iTads, these MTH iTads on. Let me see, I get that one. There it goes. Um, and, and they work pretty good. Uh, I got them set low so they don't cross over to the other track. But... Uh, they, they get tripped when the train comes by on the track they're closest to and uh, they work pretty nice they uh, add a nice effect to the uh, to the layout and uh, I'm pretty happy with how they keep turning on while well, we're on the topic of uh, infrared uh, devices on my layout um, I, I, I started making this grade cross and basically what it is is um, it's a, a core board uh, that I peel the paper off painted it with like an asphalt look and in the center here I used N scale road bed uh, to get my uh, center strips there for uh, you know to, to, to put in the grade crossing and, and uh, the crossing gates are Z stuff um, they're pretty nice uh, they work really good um, I wish I could have spread those uh, I, uh, infrared sensors out a little further but with the room constraints that I have and, and the size of my layout you know I got to make do with what I got and where they are uh, in the last video I had just finished uh, installing them when I did the 4th of July uh, Honor and Veterans uh, Lionel SD60 um, I had just finished putting these in and uh, these were a little bit about an eighth of an inch further away from the uh, track I, I kept them back a little bit you know for fair with the curve it, it might interfere with something going through um, but I moved them in the uh, well what was happening was the gates would come up while the train was still going through the crossing and then they drop back down and I guess it was uh, uh, the, the uh, inf iTads or whatever they are uh, infrared signals there they weren't close enough to the track so I moved them in about an eighth of an inch and uh, now when I run a, a train through here they stay down like they're supposed to 
and uh, and there again, it's something I'm working on. And I think it looks pretty nice. Another thing I installed uh, and began putting together is this uh, gray cross in here for like a, a secondary road that's uh, going to be coming into the main road, and uh, with the illusion like it continues out beyond the um, beyond the, the layout here, the edge of the layout. Um, it's the two-track uh, MTH crossing with the crossing bells. Also, I put the driveway going to Deuce's bike shop off the edge. And, you know, I know everything's close and, and, and tight and not prototypical, but, you know, there again with the uh, with the space uh, confinements I got, you know, I got to make do with what I got. Use some balsa wood on this one for, uh, and engraved it to look like wood planks and, and, and stained it with some... Um, you know, washes and stuff to kind of age, give the age look to the wood. And uh, I got that hooked up to four iPads. I got one basically over here, one down the end there uh, by the bridge. And uh, then I also got uh, uh, one next to the water tower and one down by the other bridge just beyond the Z stuff crossing gates. And uh, they all work in sync when a, a, a train is going by them. You know, they were a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, to figure out and wire them up correctly. Uh, you know, they don't give you really no type of instructions on how to do it. And, um, you know, they, uh, uh, I watched a couple videos on YouTube and was able to figure it out. Um, and, uh, you know, other people had that problem. And, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 it took me a little time, but we got it. And it uh, all seems to be working fine now. And uh, there again, something I'm happy with and, uh, you know, that they're working correctly and it's a work in progress over on this side. Also, while we're over here, you know, those are just mocked up right now. Uh, that's where a strip of stores is going to go as, and the road leads in from the upper level and into this, uh, this town over here. And uh, like I said, that's all mocked up. Nothing's wired up or set in place. So... Uh, you know, that, that's what's probably going to be going on over here is uh, a little shopping district or main, another main street or something. Another, another project I, I did was I scratch built this bridge. Uh, basically, I used a, a piece of plywood, some corner moldings, which worked out nice. They kind of give the effect of a sidewalk and, a, a, you know, basically a jersey barriers or, a, a, you know, a, some type of a barriers to keep, you know, traffic from going over the bridge. Uh, this is core board. There again, I peeled the paper off. Uh, I etched it to look like uh, uh, slabs of concrete and put some cracks and stuff in it. Over here and on the other end of the bridge and in the center, I used strips of balsa wood and, and, and kind of painted them with a black rusty look to them. And uh, those are supposed to symbolize... Uh, you know, expansion joints that you would see in a bridge, uh, you know, uh, uh, that traffic would travel over. Uh, also, I put these Woodland Scenics uh, uh, plug-in-and-play lights or, or whatever they call them, and uh, they're kind of like the Main Street lights. Uh, they're pretty nice. I wanted to put some type of lighting system on this bridge and, uh, you know, to get it kind of realistic as I possibly could. Um, and uh, so far, it looks pretty good. I started putting the abutment over here, the, uh, and I, I didn't do nothing on this side yet, but uh, that's another thing I started working on. And uh, so far, that's all coming together nicely. What it does is basically connects the two tables. It's completely removable, and uh, it's supposed to symbolize basically the, uh, you know, connecting that upper town and going across and going to be connecting into this table. So, uh, like I said there again, it, it looks pretty nice. My last update video, I just started uh, doing the washes and stuff and explained how uh, these mountains and everything all came about and uh, the retaining wall and the uh, the cliff and uh, rock faces over here. And uh, this is what I've done to them since then. Uh, I did a lot of ground cover, uh, bushes, added quite a bit of trees, some overgrowth, and... Uh, you know, I think it came pretty nice, you know, it, it looks pretty nice in, in person. Um, you know, it, I don't know how well the video is going to do justice on it, but but it really looks sweet. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's something I've been working on for a while. Wasn't something I, I wasn't even sure what I was going to do in this area. My last video, I said I kind of started this area on a whim because of 
Uh, I had some uh, great stuff left over in the can, and uh, this is how it's all starting to shape up. Uh, also, I wired all these uh, buildings and uh, uh, accessories in place, and uh, and they're pretty much where they're going to go, uh, I believe. And uh, it all came together nice, and, and it's looking really good. Um, also, I uh, dusted the cold tower with some uh, spray paints and some washes to kind of give it a weathered effect. It kind of was a shiny, like, cream color, and it just didn't go right, especially with the uh, the water tank over there. It just didn't look like it fit in. So, uh, also, the workhouse I took apart and painted to kind of match the, the buildings and the scenery, and the same with the elevated uh, gate tower there. And uh, like I say, it, it's all looking really cool. Um, I did some ballasting and, and like I said, some ground covers uh, along the tracks here too. So uh, this is what it looks like from over here. Give you another okay. angle of uh, behind all that scenery there. Um, how it looks on uh, the backside where the track is uh, going up to the, the second level. Um, as you can see, I ballast it uh, all the way down to this, this curb right here. And uh, I didn't do the outer part yet because I'm still going to do some uh, background buildings and, and, and flats and stuff over there. Um, but that's how it looks. It looks really nice with the trains coming around the corner up there around the bend. And it looks like they're coming from somewhere. So it's really a cool, adds a cool effect to the layout. Also, while I'm here... Uh, that's the the deuces bike shop i got that all finally uh done and wired up and the lamps working and the the extra lights i put on it and uh, there again it looks pretty nice another look here with uh, of uh how it looks all uh, against the retaining walls and where the tower is and stuff and uh what i did up top here the retaining walls and the grass and the trees and uh over and back here this other hill i did um you know, uh, I, like I said, it's really looking impressive. I'm very happy with it. It looks great in person. Uh, did all back here in case I do some uh, engineer's views uh, so it looks finished back here and not just bare wood. Uh, also, uh, I mocked up and put in place that uh, poster. Uh, just get some ideas in these um, uh, background uh, flats that I got from... Uh, Nick uh, with Pittsburgh Industrial Railroad and just to get an idea they're just propped up against the wall on a piece of one by four but uh, I'm gonna probably do something all the way through this area so I'll be hooking up with him again to get some more uh, more of them flats they're pretty cool they're pretty nice and he he just put out an update video on what he's done with them and uh, to improve them and stuff so uh, I hope to pick some pick up some more of those as I work in this area from the last Nick. update this was still pink styrofoam uh, I just started carving it um, this is a scene I've been kicking around pretty much since uh, didn't know what I was gonna do here uh, talked about putting some waterfalls coming down these hills and doing some type of water scene here and uh, basically that's what I did uh, I, I poured some uh, realistic uh, water down here and uh, had it run down into this brook here and uh, same with this area here um, I know I talked about doing something that uh, w with um, some clear silicone to make it look like and it still could happen you know I may do it in a little spots here and there but uh, I figured this looked more realistic because it isn't really no source of water over here uh, that it looks more like springs uh, you know w spring water weeping out of the rocks and you know enough to collect and come down the drainage ditch here and uh, through the uh, through the bend and into this brook you know over here I got this woody I got a father and son uh, father and son fishing and also up here I, I did a little camp scene with uh, some campers and uh, a tent and everything up there and uh, that's what we got so far guys I want to thank all my uh, new subscribers picked up quite a few the people who have been with me uh, right along thank you for your comments and, and support and uh, I hope you enjoy this update thanks